Hi, my name is Dr. R.J. Burr. I'm a chiropractor, and I have back pain. So I've had some recurring back pain issues that I know how to manage, but I still am a human being, and I tend to screw myself up every now and then, so we thought it'd be a really good opportunity to have Dr. Mitch Israel examine me and go through the process of what we do with all of our patients so we can show you how I can fix myself without this guy needing to wail and crack and uh, crack me all the time. Yeah, right? as chiropractors, we're human too. I still get my occasional mid-back pain from time to time that, you right. know, we just need some love and attention every now and then. There we go. So we thought a good opportunity to show you how we do this to get an insight of the assessment. Um, and we'll give you a step-by-step -step how we do it here. And we'll also show my progress over time. So we'll shoot today, but then we'll shoot following days to see how I'm changing, how I'm improving, or maybe getting worse if, I don't know if you're any good. So we'll see. We'll find out together. Okay. All right. This is Reach Rehab and Chiropractic Performance Center, where we provide sports chiropractic, massage therapy, and a slew of other services, where we help you take the guesswork out of healing so you can do more than just relief pain, you can become unstoppable. Now, if you like this content or any of our videos, uh, make sure you click subscribe, like this video, hit the bell on YouTube so you can get updates of our videos, and please leave a comment about this if any questions you have and any future content, because we will make content based on what you want to see first. Well, being colleagues with RJ for a little bit now, I know he has intermittent back pain from time to time, but it seems like he flared himself up pretty good this past weekend. So we'll just start with getting a history on what's going on currently and see if it's any different from his usual symptoms that I usually see him for. Okay. Well, first things first, let's just see what Dr. Burr is coming in to the office for. So what'd you do this weekend? What happened? All right. So... I was playing golf, okay. carrying my bag in the morning, and typically mornings are worst, um, more stiff in the morning. And I was uh, walking, and I had actually a nice approach and hit the green. So I'm going and uh, repaired my ball mark, as always. And then I was ready to putt, and I literally just kind of bent over and just kind of grabbed me. And I was like, I knew exactly what happened, but I'm like, really, just a little bend over like that? Yeah. Well, can you turn away and show us where you're having some of those symptoms? Yes. So just right across the back here. Right above the belt line? Correct. Spanning. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, have you noticed that more on one side or the other, or is it just right in the equal, middle? Right across. Okay. And then I know you've had intermittent back pain in the past. Is this something new that you're dealing with, or is this very similar Same to what you've had in Same thing. It's past? like stuff I've had in the past, just a kind of a recurrence or flare up. All right, and then just the act of putting, that's just what set it over the yep. edge? it's a little bit bent over. Okay. And then how have symptoms been since that first occurred when you were putting? That was yesterday. Okay. So um, it's been a day. It's been a day. And it was really bad <laughs> in, uh, a few hours after it happened, and then um, I've popped some medication for the inflammation. It's helped a bit. Okay. Just to help me get through the day, but otherwise, um, yeah. Um, yesterday evening was a lot better because I'd done some of the stuff I needed to do to help get it better quicker. But otherwise, it's um, it's pr pretty rough flare up. Now I know it's been a very very short window because this happened mm -hmm. yesterday. If your symptoms have been constant, so they've been there the past 24 hours or so straight. Yes, constant. Okay. Mm -hmm. But like you said, just through the evening yesterday, it improved, get better. Yeah. Now, was that symptoms improved, or you mentioned that you got some, some stiff Some range of motion improvement, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And I know, again, short window. Have you noticed any certain, you know, movements, postures, or positions that you try that can really aggravate this? Yeah. So any excessive movement. So, like, any sort of bending forward too far, bending backwards really bad. Yeah. Side to side's fine. Uh, twisting's okay. <laughs> Like, get you at the end if you watch me walk i walk like this is really short and i actually had to like lay down the other day i couldn't even stand or even perch it was, it was a problem so when was this yesterday yeah yesterday. okay um, then the opposite question have you noticed any certain postures positions or movements that can actually give you some relief i know you've had constant symptoms just lying down on my side yeah. lying so uh, typical of like pressing up, I'm not getting any range of motion there. It's like, it, I'll get there, I feel okay hanging out like 
on my forearms like this, lying down. Yeah. But then I start to get up, and it's like, eh, as I start to stand up. So it's like really so those first. So if you've been sitting or laying for a little bit, those first couple steps are a little yes. laborious. Rising, first few steps. Yeah. Can give you the shakes. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and then you mentioned laying on your side. Is that one side versus the other, laying Either. on both sides? Either. Okay. Does that bring you relief or just like? Takes the edge off, yeah. Okay. Not relief, it's just like it's, I, when I can't stand any longer, I can lie down and relax. And then it was this morning pretty yes, unbearable? Brutal. Okay. All right. And then you already mentioned it, but especially when in the mornings when the symptoms are more flared up, do you notice that you're just kind of lacking some range of motion or it's just stiffer when it hurts more, correct? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then have you had any symptoms down, you know, one leg or the other, no or leg, the no. glutes at all? A little bit lingering down the left leg, but that was very infrequent. It happened like once. In the last 24 hours that happened? Okay. Yeah. Anything in the last few hours or today? No. Okay. So Dr. Israel just went through the funnel. All the funnel does is explain what this could or could not be. So when did it happen, right? Yep. We knew it was yesterday, so very acute, likely very inflamed, which it is. Yes. I've had this before. It's been recurrent. I know what it is, but he's going through the questions to help assess it better. Yep. So constant symptoms now because, right, because it's inflamed, right? Right. So most mechanical pain people have of intermittent symptoms, so on and off, where it changes based on movements and positions. So mm -hmm. even though I have constant pain, it does change based on movements and positions. Yes. So we know right from there, and how it happened, like how it occurred also tells us something. It was yeah. from bending over. Mine's a flexion bending based injury. It's happened with deadlifts, it happened with wall balls, it happened with crap like that. So we know the mechanism. Yes. So that tells us mechanically which way do we need to move it. For right? the most part. I mean, we still have to run an assessment. Yeah. Most of these problems happen in the flexion based position. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't always mean that we need to go in the opposite direction. Yeah. So. But it gives us clues, right? If it's all this and yep. you know, that tells us like if my finger hurts bent this way, well, what happens if we move in the opposite direction, take tension off? Of right. And the big thing is I've seen him before for something similar than this or similar to this. So we just want to make sure, is this a recurrence of the same thing or is this a different flavor of mm -hmm. back pain that yeah. it's presenting with today? For sure. And then so. you know, we're not trying to teach clinicians here, but I think the best, the mm -hmm. best thing to take from this is that if different movements, postures, or positions feel better or worse, and we know how it's injured through mechanics, and yep. the question you asked, like when you hurt more, like in the mornings, are you stiffer as a result? That's yep. huge. If your mechanics are worse when you feel worse, we know it's a mechanical-based problem, a movement-based problem, yep. and not an infection. Or I mean, it could be on top of it, but it's not mainly an infection or mainly a disease process. It's movement right. and mechanics-based. Right, exactly. So, Cool. So then let's show them, because we know, I know we, how I'm going to respond to this, but let's show them like what we would do to kind of work through this. Okay. Do you okay. want to go through, you already yeah. showed me some ranges. Yeah. Is that about so, the extent of what you have? Yeah. So we usually go through all range of motion. So, <laughs> you know, toe touch, back bend, we'll show you Head, that. Shoulders, knees, and toes. But we'll check muscle strength and other things. With me, I know I don't have those deficits. So let's look at basic range of motion. Let's yes. go right into moving this and see if we can make a quick change in my range of motion by him doing some hands on. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. So let's just see spinal range. Let's do it. All right. So here's toe touch. Oh, grabs there. I'm not, I'm no, don't through. even try. Okay. All right, hands overhead, lean back. Uh, right about there. Okay, let's go ahead and rotate. Right there, about the same. The same both sides, right at the end. And then this last, is, just this keep is it fine. Yeah. Perfect. And then squat, that's okay. Give me some lunge. Lunge, that's okay as long as I stay upright, right? Right, and he's telling us a lot just through the mechanics that if, if he's a stable spine or he's not moving too much, he's okay. But yeah. any excessive Bending. movement is poking that bear, so to say. Cool. All right, well, let's just start. Let's go mode. Yep, go straight down. Ugh. All right, before, go ahead and lay flat. All right, RJ, just laying on your stomach right here. What's going on? Right in the center, sensitive. Right in the center, okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give you some overpressure along your spine. I'm going to start up here and work my way down. Just let me know if there's any pain or discomfort, okay? okay good. Ah! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was fine. I know that's not his spot. You didn't, you didn't scare me. Good. Uh, okay, now I'm bracing. It's getting there. Yep. So it's definitely... Oh, oh one more. One more. Right there, but it feels kind of good. Okay, so... We're going to do just a low back. I'm going to go to the left here. That's the right. 
So, so there's upper, middle, and lower low back. I know it sounds confusing, but we have L1 through S1 basically for our lumbar spine. So he's checking upper, middle, and lower to see where that major obstruction or problem is in the mechanics. Mm -hmm. Right, because we have a, just based off of experience, we know, well, we know what's going on with him, but we want to target the area exactly with our treatment. So we don't just want to throw like a random move and then hope it works. We want it to be more guided to where the problem is. Okay, and what's the right? That's fine. Is that fine? Yeah. Okay, last spot, more to the right. Ooh, yep. And then to the left. Uh, similar, but I would say the right side is a little worse, but pretty close to All right, way. go ahead and prop up on your elbows for me. Okay, I'm going to repeat that again. So okay. I'm going to start up here. Good. Freebie. <laughs> Ooh, cool. That was it's a, moving now. Yes. Oh, it actually feels pretty good. All right, yes. and then RJ, same overpressure, but on your elbows. How did that feel? Better. Better? Okay. Yeah. So better on elbows like this, I'm in more of an extended position of my low back, and if that feels easier there, typically with this type of presentation, that gives us a clue that to balance this, we need to bend backward. Okay. Well, before we do any mobs or hands-on yeah. work, I want you to give me one press-up or a cobra sure. stretch right here, and I just want to see how it feels. Right there, but... Okay, right there. I can't push it. Is that spanning across? Yeah. Okay, yeah, go ahead and drop it. Very compressive. All right, so before I did any hands-on, I wanted to see what he could push through. So now I have a good gauge of how much extension he can handle right now. So now we're going to try some hands-on mobs and see if we can get that to loosen up anymore. All right, before we do any hands-on work right here, I'm going to give him a little bit of overpressure because when he was propped up on, a, on his elbows, he actually said it felt better. So we're going to do another one of those press-ups. This time I'm going to give you some pressure in your low back right here. Yep. Okay, go ahead and start to bring it up. Nice and slow. Way easier. This was easier? Way, and then I'm going to breathe out to add more. <sighs> totally fine. But make sure you maintain it in the way down. Right? Yep. Okay. And actually okay in the way down. Because usually when I've been, I've been doing some of this on my own, only kissing the pain, so only going to where I was before, and it hasn't been really getting any better with it. It's been, granted it happened yesterday, but it was basically the same every time. Ouch, no worse, ouch, no worse. Yep, and that tells us good information. So he can actually handle more force into the joint segments. So that means we can you know, add some more hands-on treatment to see if we can get yeah. this to speed up the process. Yeah. Of, uh, so basically what Dr. Israel did was kind of like push the joint temporarily back into place and it allowed me to more comfortably get up there. So that tells us that we need some more treatment there for that to stick on my own as opposed to needing someone's hands on it. So it's a nice clue. Okay, and now I'm going to give you that overpressure again flat here. All right, RJ, is this tolerable? Yep. All right. So tell me when. That's good. Nothing there? That's fine, yeah. Okay. Go ahead and give me a half breath in, and I'm going to follow you out with pressure, okay? And just let me know if there's any discomfort here. Okay. Right there, yeah. Breathe in. And then out. Tolerable? Yep. Okay. Okay, we just want to go right up to where this pain threshold is and then try to move this joint as much as we can. Okay, in. How's that? Good. Okay, half breath in and then all the way out. So if you can see me, I'm on my tippy toes right here. I'm almost putting my full body weight in here which is a really good sign that it's not sensitive. Okay, a couple more, go ahead and breathe in, and then out. Okay, last one, and then out. All right, slowly let off. Good. All right, how was that? Good, I was afraid that that let off was good. <laughs> I was, <laughs> I've, I've seen this story before, yes. so. Yes, yes. Um, 
Do you just want to try press up first, and yeah. then we'll go standing yeah. up? Yeah. So let's check it right here. Still just right there. Still, still yeah. laborious. Mm -hmm. All right. So we know we need to work into that more, but before that. We always like to assess, then reassess to see if there's any change before and after. So go ahead and stand up. We only did one move, so we're not expecting a miracle, but I just want to see how his mechanics are. Okay, good. All our days when I've been doing this, yesterday when I got up, I was like, hey. So well, I knew it was going to take a second. So his favorite one, let's go ahead and reach for the toes. Ooh, right there. So definitely easier. And then just for reference, could you usually touch the ground? No. I mean, I can get close. Hover right above it, though? Yeah. So just so people know what is normal is. Yeah, I usually can go a lot further than this. this is my back definitely stopping me, not tight hands. All right, let's bring it back. It's tight, but easier. Okay, and then rotate. That's fine. Wow, and then I know we didn't this have anything, anyway, but yeah. perfect. Cool. Okay, so good news is his mechanics improved just off of doing one move. Yeah. So to ramp that up, he could do a press up with overpressure. We're just gonna do that move real quick for reps and then see how much more we can get some change here. Okay. That was a workout for me too. Okay. All right. All Slow right. and controlled. Should we check toe touch again? Yep. Okay. Yeah, about right there. Yeah, so not a same. huge change, but this was the mechanism of injury, he said when he was bending over to putt. So we're expecting that to be one of the, yeah. the last movements to improve. So let's go ahead and Range, That's fine. Just range stiff. for days. And then just rotation. Yeah. Totally fine still. So I could tolerate overpressure. Yeah. So we know he's responding to this extension move right here. So what's for homework? You have a good guess, don't you? Yeah. So I need to do press ups 10 times every three to four hours and yep. kiss the pain. So this is really important. I can't just go and jam this uh, right away. I mean, I can, yeah, it helps it. with hands. It was great. But on my own, what I want to do is do a press up here. And then when it starts to hurt, I'm a little higher now. Nice. I kiss the pain. So I'm definitely higher from that. So at home, I just want to kiss the pain or touch the pain and rep that out. And then as the time goes on, right, we do this 10 times every three or four hours, about 50 a day. Yep. I should expect either by tonight or even tomorrow that I'm getting higher and higher and higher. And then there we go. Yep. I'm not going to breathe out here because it's going to no. too much. But now I can straighten out. But if I breathe out here, that helps me sink into it deeper. But I'm not ready for that yet because this is a kiss right here. If I breathe out, that's going to be a French kiss. It'll be sloppy as hell. No. Nope. I'm not nope. pushing my body down. No far. tongue. Right? You can also do something here, hands and knees, and just kind of rock forward and drop down. Yep. This way, too, is a nice, easy way to control that motion if your arms are getting tired because that press up surprisingly can get tough on the uh, arms there. Uh, try it before you buy cool. it. And then what we'll do is we'll keep track of this. We'll do a video tomorrow, next day, real quick, of seeing how my progress is going. Yep. Cool.